Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Syndra, the Dark Sovereign. Syndra is a ranged mage who focuses on creating and manipulating dark spheres to damage and disrupt her foes. When played to perfection, Syndra can take out her enemies without even taking damage back. Syndra's passive is Transcendent. All of Syndra's basic abilities gain a unique bonus at rank 5. Dark Sphere damages enemies in a small area and creates a dark sphere that remains for a few seconds. At rank 5, Transcendent causes Dark Sphere to deal bonus damage to champions. As Syndra's primary damage tool, I recommend maxing Dark Sphere as soon as possible. Force of Will picks up one of Syndra's Dark Spheres, an enemy minion, or a neutral monster. For the next few seconds, Syndra can reactivate Force of Will to toss her victim, damaging and slowing all enemies where it lands. At rank 5, Transcendent increases Force of Will's slow duration. For increased damage and slowing, Force of Will is a must-have by early levels and is worth maxing second. Scatter the Weak damages and knocks back all enemies in a cone. Syndra's Dark Spheres are also knocked back, damaging and stunning enemies they hit. At rank 5, Transcendent increases the width of the cone, allowing Scatter the Weak to hit more targets. For its great utility, take a point in Scatter the Weak early. However, I recommend leaving it at one point and maxing it last. Unleashed Power is Syndra's ultimate. Unleashed Power collects up all nearby Dark Spheres and fires them at target enemy champion, dealing damage with each one. While Syndra always has three Dark Spheres orbiting her, using Dark Sphere multiple times before using Unleashed Power will increase the damage output. As with all ultimates, I recommend maxing Unleashed Power as quickly as possible. In early laning, use your Dark Spheres and Force of Will to whittle down your opponents. If you cast them whenever your opponent attacks minions, you'll ensure he can't dodge them. As Zareth tries to last hit at his turret, Cinder is able to constantly drop his health. Soon after, Cinder pushes in with Dark Spheres, Ignite, and Basic Attacks, dealing just enough damage to drop his health and get away with it if it weren't for Evelyn. Cinder's level 6 burst is exceptionally high. While trading blows with Zareth, Evelyn comes in to gank. Syndra first casts a Dark Sphere before using Unleashed Power, hitting with four spheres to pick up the kill. Remember that Dark Sphere enables all of Syndra's other abilities. As Syndra comes in to assist on a fight, Dark Sphere enables Force of Will to slow Evelyn, picking up a quick kill. Turning back, the enemy Blitzcrank is chasing Rengar, so Syndra drops a Dark Sphere over the wall for Scatter the Weak, stunning Blitzcrank and allowing Rengar to escape. If not for Flash, Force of Will would have allowed Syndra a second kill. When fighting one-on-one, -on -one, get a Dark Sphere out and lead with Force of Will. The slow makes it easy to land Scatter the Weak for a stun, leading to another Dark Sphere. An immediate use of Unleashed Power and Ignite drops Zareth extremely low, allowing Sooner to flash for the kill with Dark Sphere. In teamfights, there are three goals. Stay safe, create as much disruption as possible, and save Unleashed Power for squishy targets with multiple nearby Dark Spheres. After taking down Rengar with standard abilities, Syndra turns to fight the enemies coming from the left. Force of Will slows down Blitzcrank before Unleashed Power deals immense damage to Evelyn, picking up another kill. Turning back to Blitzcrank, Dark Sphere into Force of Will sets up an easy stun with Scatter the Weak, making the chase an easy one as the rest of Syndra's team focuses down to pick up the kill. In one final fight, Dark Sphere into Scatter the Weak initiates on Blitzcrank. An immediate force of will slows him down, but a premature unleashed power should have been saved for later. As Blitzcrank chases down, force of will and Dark Sphere keep him away and set up for an easy stun with Scatter the Weak. The stun makes Dark Sphere easy to land to grab the kill. Cinder runs over as two more kills are cleaned up before her attention is turned to Jace. Though far away, Dark Sphere into Scatter the Weak locks him up, enabling Cinder a second kill through force of will. I recommend building Syndra with a primary emphasis on ability power for damage output, with a few considerations for utility and durability. Try Magic Penetration Marks, Mana Regeneration Seals, Magic Resist Per Level Glyphs, and Ability Power Quintessences. Consider 2109 Masteries, focusing on Magic Damage and Offense, plus Mana Regeneration and Neutral Buff Duration and Utility. I recommend Ignite and Flash for Summoner Spells, for damage output and maneuverability. 
For items, try opening with Boots of Speed, Health Potions, and an early Chalice of Harmony. Add Sorcerer's Shoes and rush for Rabidin's Death Cap. Because of Cinder's low cooldowns, Rylight's Crystal Scepter will add a lot of utility before adding more damage through Void Staff and Athene's Unholy Grail. Finally, adding Zonia's Hourglass will help you survive when focused in fights while adding even more ability power. Thanks for tuning in to the Syndra Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above and leave us your comments just below the video.